hi everyone this video is about the pointers pointers contain addresses it means the value of the pointer variables are addresses as we have explained that all the variables we declare are stored on some addresses pointers are the variable which points to those addresses in this topic we'll cover the reference operator the dereference operator declaration and initialize the pointer variable dereference a variable address of pointer and value of pointer the general syntax of declaring a pointer is data type data type can be any of the four basic data types integer character float and double the asterisk sign star and the pointer name pointer name is an identifier you can name any according to the identifier rules now let's move to the code this is our pointers file what i'll do over here i'll declare a variable over here int a is equal to 5 now in the next line i'll declare an integer pointer to hold the address of this variable i'll name it p and uh, i'll initialize is equal to ampersand a so this is how you declare a pointer variable and this is how you initialize a pointer variable as I have already said that pointer variables can only contain addresses so ampersand a gives us the address of a so we are assigning the address of a to the pointer now let's compile this and uh, check this if there is any error there are zero errors now we'll try to assign a value to the pointer directly a value this will give you a warning because pointer cannot contain values pointer can only contain addresses so we'll do the same again ampersand a is equal to star p so here we have assigned the address of a to p now let's print the value of a by the simple method which we have already used percent d i'll put a backslash n over here and braces close and a so this will print as 5 we have already did this so this is printing as 5 now let's copy this line and uh, paste it now print the value of a we'll try to print the value of a through a pointer now when, how can we do that we need to do that by star and the pointer name the pointer which is equal to ampersand a this will also give us the value of a you can see that c here it is giving us 5 from the a and this 5 from the star p so after that we'll just copy this line again and we'll paste it and now we'll print the address of a which we print by ampersand a we'll just compile it and run it see it is giving us the address of a now we'll again paste this line and try to print the address of a via pointer variable so we need not to use the star and just type p here you can see that there is the address of a the ampersand a and p gives you the name the a and the star p gives you the same value so this gives you the value of a this gives you the value of a this gives you the address of a and this also gives you the address of p what if we try to print the address of p how can we print it the address of p can be printed by ampersand p so this is the value of a this is the value of a this is the address of a this is again the address of a by a pointer variable and this is the address of pointer variable this is the address of pointer variable so this is how we use pointer we can use it to point addresses of some variable and uh, we can use it to print the value of that variables so this is all about the pointers and in the next video you will study double pointer or uh, can say that pointer to pointer thank you